All right, so let's take a look at prefixes and suffixes. So this is a part of vocab, which means word knowledge, which means all the word knowledge stuff, which is all vocab really, um, is 25% of your score. So uh, that's important. The best, best way to improve it is trying to dedicate uh, to reading 15 minutes a day, uh, preferably some type of military publication, whether it's a blog or magazine, whatever you think is best. So that you do that, vocabulary gets bigger, right? Okay, so the, the prefix suffixes can really help us in terms of breaking down words, like when we see a word and we don't know what it means. Um, so the pro prefix, um, this will usually mean before, so a word like prologue, right, which shows up a lot, right? That's very common. Uh, commonly tested word, prologues. That could be like in a book or a play or a movie. Um, so a prologue refers to before, right? Pro means before, prologue means before, rather than after, after reading or watching, right? So some kind of information that you're getting before you actually read the read the book or watch the movie, whatever. It's usually more books and plays, but uh, either way, pro means before, that is a big one. Okay, enter is another one that shows up a lot because there's a lot of words that have, have that prefix in it. Okay, so enter is a some sort of a clue that something's happening in the middle of something. So when we get words like interlude or intermission, interlude, intermission, so we get a sense that means it's something that's happening in between, in the middle of a, a play, something like that. Intermission, same thing. All right, a lot of people are more familiar with, with intermissions. I'm going to give them interlude. They're not as sure. But you see that word enter, that prefix enter, that tells you middle. All right, so let's look at a couple questions. Uh, which of the following words means the same as indomitable? Indomitable. Okay, so let's say we don't know what that word means. Is there anything we can do with our answer choices? Okay, so we have unfriendly unconquerable, alert, tenuous. Okay, and prefixes and suffixes, you know, this is one of the harder sections in that, like I don't immediately see something that I could eliminate, right? So it may just come down to this question is about learning what this word means, right? And being prepared for it in case it shows up again. Indomitable. So let's take a look. We have it right there. Something is indomitable. It can't be subdued or broken down. Okay, so if we go back, can't be broken down. Which one does that sound most like? Unfriendly, not necessarily unconquerable, yes. The other sound like that? Alert or tenuous, no. And so we'll go ahead and say unconquerable is the best answer for this one. And that ends up being correct. And let's do one more. They will sometimes ask you opposite questions. Opposite of disdainful. Okay, and then when we're looking at answer choices, just to remind you, and on some of the easier sections, uh, a lot of times they will have two answers that mean the same thing. As we get to some of these harder sections, sometimes it's harder to find that. Okay, the opposite of disdainful. Okay. Angry, admiring, effective, decayed. Okay, so I don't see any that really look the same but one that I would probably cross off, say I have no idea what disdainful means. Decayed seems very unlikely <laughs> that there's a word that means the opposite of decayed, um, which would just mean like regular or something. Uh, like, so like that would seem like it's very unlikely that that fits. Right, so this uh, the opposite of admiring would be like, well, I guess I have no opinion, or I don't like them. And it's a tricky one to be opposite of. Uh, angry has a much more obvious opposite, right? Happy. Effective also has a pretty obvious opposite. So just because it says opposite, like, 
that's what I would think. And then, so let's go ahead and hit the answer key and see what it tells us as far as disdainful. Okay, disdainful means to be contemptuous of someone or something, to feel or act superior. Answer B, admiring means the opposite, to approve or look up to someone or something. Okay. All right. So uh, it ends up that admiring is the answer that we want. And so, hey, that was a tough one. Um, angry didn't help us, right? Uh, and trying to remember that we're talking opposite. So disdainful and angry, would uh, they would be more synonyms. Uh, effective, we don't like. So we end up with admiring on this one. 